it's been nearly eight months since I last talked about these. Uh, last winter, these were all frozen, and uh, oh my boy, that that was that really sucked. But uh, before it freezes, we're gonna go ahead and get this taken apart, get these boards off of here, get them set up so that they dry out. So uh, the reason we're doing this is because these are the boards we're gonna be using for the trim inside of our cabin. But again, I can't really do anything until I get them apart and dried out. So let's do that. Cold rain, making rivers on my window. Late last night, cold rain, yeah, 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 yeah. cold rain, rain in the shadow, in my head on my window pane, shadow, don't you bother me anymore, don't you darken up my door. I love reclaiming wood. There's just something about the history of it that just really, um, th that just really tickles me. You know, for instance, so this piece of cedar right here obviously was a tree, right? But there was somebody at some point in time who saw this tree and decided they were gonna cut this tree. Now, could have been a logger, could have been a private citizen, uh, you know, but somebody at some point in history made a decision to cut the tree that this board came from. And uh, once they cut that tree, that tree then got milled. This piece was handled by somebody at some point, probably put onto a pallet with other boards just like it. And at some point, somebody someplace else decided that they wanted to build a fence. And it was at that point that the, those people went to said store, bought said lumber and built said fence. Fast forward all these years later, and now I have the fence. I've taken this board off of that fence and I'm going to reuse this. And its final resting place will be trim in my cabin. Think about that. Or don't. For me, that's just wicked cool. Looks like the boys are out. Hello, Whitco. It's snowing out here. Hello, Macha. So we are over here at the lumber rack. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get all these boards uh, set in here someplace. Uh, we've been busy with, with uh, projects and uh, I've got quite a bit of wood in here right now, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff set up in here because it's snowing good. I had no idea it was supposed to snow like this. We need to get out of here. Okay, it seems like the snow died down so we can get back to work. What we're gonna try to do is, uh, you know, we've got the carport and 
uh, it's got a big wide open, you know, front end, uh, front to it. Well, I've noticed that on our nor'easters or when the snow comes from a certain direction, it just blows right into the carport. So what I want to try to do is I'm going to try to put a tarp up that will uh, help keep most of the uh, snow and rain out of the carport. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm hoping it works, but again, I don't know for sure. Now I've got, my thought is I'm going to use some of these hooks. I have some uh, tarp attachments um, that I'll show you here in just a minute. And then I've got to get some, I've also got to get a couple, uh, some bungees uh, that we're going to be using. So we're going to get these tools and some, and the materials I think I need. And then uh, we're going to head over to the carport and we're going to see if we can't put a garage door up. Well, a tarp door. Okay, so what's the plan you might be asking yourself? Well, I'm asking myself the same question and I think the plan is going to be to run the tarp from here across we're going to attach it with clamps to the uh, these posts here and then over to this side here now I've got some easy clip clamps tarp clips so that I can uh, attach the tarp to the end posts wherever I want to um, and then as far as the bottom is concerned, since the tarp I have is a 20 foot by 10 foot, and I only need to really go up six feet, I'm gonna have quite a bit of extra on the ground. Well, rather than have that just laying on the ground, which could potentially freeze during a big storm, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll that up, and then I'm going to attach these small clamps to the bottom uh, to try to keep the bottom at least weighted a little bit and then that'll just stretch along the bottom of the carport So that's the plan. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I have no idea But I'm gonna try it because I have nothing to lose. So let's give it a shot I think I need to rephrase that uh, I know it's gonna work uh, Putting the tarp up. What I don't know is whether it's gonna be practical able to remove it easily uh, so I can pull the car out and then uh, also pull it in uh, same thing with the side-by-side -side. so uh, it's not really a question of is it gonna work it's a question of is it gonna be practical and is it gonna be easy for not only myself but also for Jen to uh, unattach and attach the, the tarp so that's what I have to really focus on is <laughs> I almost busted my butt there <laughs> uh, but anyway so that's that's what we really have to focus on so we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens I think that's too high. I think I need to drop that because I can't reach. If I can't reach it, I know Jen's not gonna reach it. So we wanna be able to reach it. We really, we don't need it to cover the whole thing. We just need it to block out the majority of it. So I think we're gonna drop this down a little bit. I didn't really think that part through. <laughs> that's all right. We're gonna get this fixed right now.
All right, so it took me a few minutes to actually figure out the right height. I think I've got the right height now. And like I said, it's okay that it's gonna have this gap because ultimately all we're really trying to do is keep the bulk of the wind and the snow and the rain out. This overhang here will help prevent anything from coming in on the top. And then, you know, obviously we're gonna have the bottom open, but that's okay. Next up here is I've got to drill some holes uh, and get the hooks in on both sides of the openings so then I can attach the tarp to the hook. So let's go do that. Hey, Whitco, what you doing, baby? Hey, Miss Macha, what you doing? What you guys doing? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Macha. It's snowy. The sun good snowy. Yay. All right. We got her up. We got the tarp garage doors up on our carport, which is awesome. Uh, it actually looks it came out a lot better than I thought it would. And I think the length is perfect. I'm not too concerned. I wanted to keep uh, some airflow going through. I don't want these this, this tarp to just rip. So I do need airflow to go uh, in and around or underneath and over the, the tarp. So that, I think it's gonna work out great. Now to take the tarp off is really simple. Uh, you just take this, that hook off take this hook off and then we pull the tarp over lay it down pull the vehicle out put the tarp back up and we're good to go so i think this is going to work great uh, inside you can just kind of undo the one come inside and then we're inside our carport we've got the side by side which we have duped dory so we have Dory in here and we have the Jeep in here as well. So, all right, I think this is great. Uh, the real test though is going to be the first time that we have some wins. Um, honestly, this thing may just just tear apart. I, I have no idea, uh, but uh, it's, it's up now, which is good. Uh, it's what we wanted. So yeah, I mean, we really just have to wait for a snowstorm and uh, see what happens so all right we're gonna clean up the mess and get on to the next project i love having the dogs out with me not only they're getting their exercise there's also a sense of security i i know that if these guys are around me playing there's nothing around here that's gonna bother me animals wise because if a twig breaks they're all over it. <laughs> so the next project on the docket today is not this uh, thermometer here, but in order to do that, I need to find a piece of wood that I can put on the back of this. So we're gonna take a look and see what I've got in the, got my protectors out here. Miss Matcha, Whitco, Tasanka. Oh man, I love having these guys out here with me. Oh, all right. Okay, yeah, let's go find some wood. All right. So basically I need something that's gonna be the same size as this. So let's see what we got. I think this might work. Uh, that might work. I don't know. So the more I'm thinking about getting this piece of wood for this thermometer, the more I'm realizing I'm not sure I need it. Let's go see 
what it's going to look like without the piece of wood to where we want to mount this thing. We want to mount it right here. I think, I think we can just mount it like that. I guess my concern was with having the, the back exposed like that, the wind might take it, but I mean, We can try it and see what happens. Maybe we should just put it here. I like that idea better. See, this is what I mean. This is what I don't like. It's kind of floppy. I don't like that. All right, well, it's up there. We'll see how long it lasts. Hopefully it lasts a long time, but we'll see. All right, let's go get the next project. We're over here by the windbreak behind our solar panels. The reason we're here is because today we're putting up a sock. Well, I've always wanted a sock. I think it's a, a good tool to have, especially for us with our panels. And that is to know which direction the wind is coming from. Having this up in addition to our flag is gonna let us know that. So we're gonna go ahead and attach it to this rod. Stick the rod up on the uh, uh, flat post there. Get it up. All right, well, that's it. It's up. So these last couple of days, we've spent quite a bit of time doing some chores around the, the homestead that just needed to be done. You know, this is going to be our third winter and I'd like to think that we've learned quite a bit. Uh, this year, with some of the improvements we've made to the homestead, I think we're getting closer and closer to being finished uh with our infrastructure now i know you know we still have the greenhouse to finish we still have the garage to finish um but i think overall you know when i look out at our homestead i am pretty freaking impressed we have done so much in the short amount of time we've been here and people question us all the time, how did we get all that done? Well, in this video, you saw me <laughs> do a lot of little jobs. Success and failure is determined by the details. And the small jobs, they, uh, they stack up and, and they're extremely meaningful. So, all right, I am cold. I am heading to the cabin where Jen has the wood stove going and some dinner. So, all right, well, thanks a lot for sticking around and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to our channel. We're doing the best we can uh, with improving our video skills and kind of just showing our journey of what it's like for us to uh, transition from Chicago here to the beautiful state of Maine. All right, until next time.